Hello there my fellow fans, welcome to the channel, today's royal instalment. The problems in the relationship between Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are gaining more strength every day and are made visible according to what was published by an endless number of media. Given this scenario, it has been revealed that the British royal family is not immune to all this controversy and that Charles III wants his grandchildren in London far from his daughter-in-law. For a few months now, it has been rumoured that the Suits actress and her husband are going through a strong marital crisis that may be the product of their recent professional failures, such as the end of relations between the company of the Sussexes, Archwell Audio and Spotify, the platform that broadcasts the Archetypes program, a podcast hosted by Meghan Markle. Whatever the reason for these marital problems, in case of separation, it has been reported that the Duchess would demand the sum of $80 million from her husband to sign the divorce papers and in addition, she would not allow her children Archie and Lilibet to return to Buckingham Palace. Of course, Prince Harry is not willing to lose that large part of his fortune or lose custody of his little ones, a decision that his father supports. For the monarch, the correct scenario would be for the children to return to London with their father. All this controversy about the separation between the royals began after the couple gave no sign of having celebrated their fifth wedding anniversary on May 19th. It should be noted that at present, the couple is going through a difficult time in the workplace since their contract with Spotify has been cancelled, in principle, by mutual agreement. But it has been possible to know that the company would have blamed a pro productivity problem on the part of the Sussexes. So, the podcast that Meghan Markle had, Archetypes, on the streaming platform, has not been able to renew for a second season. Having not compiled with the agreement established with the company, the couple will not receive the total payment established, $20 million, but will receive a lower amount. At the moment, the contract with Netflix remains intact, and the royals continue to work on various projects for the company. Likewise, in recent days, there has been speculation about the possibility that Dior had been interested in Meghan Markle to be an ambassador for the firm. As are well-known fa faces such as Johnny Depp, but this collaboration has come to nothing since the French firm did not hesitate to deny that the Duchess of Sussex was not going to be its new image. The job option would have been a great relief for the family e economy, but they will have to continue looking for other projects the aforementioned media reported. Whew. A battle of money. And who knows what's going on with this marriage? Is it real? Is it fake? I just can't keep up. What's your opinion? Leave a comment below, smash that like button, and subscribe to our channel for the latest royal news. Goodbye for now.